core collection launch at 6 p.m. tonight. There we go, look. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to vlog this week for you guys. I feel like weekly, daily, weekly vlogs are your faves. And oh, what have you got? And so I'm going to vlog the week for you guys because we have a few big things on. Today we have a big launch for our new core collection. So these are going to be like our new staples on the website. Um, and they have our logo on it. They come in six different colors slash tones. <laughs> and we have t-shirts. Next year we'll have sweater sweatpants as well. And they're all made from organic cotton. Just like comfortable basics that you can wear every day. For lounging, for lounging, walking, etc. Like anything. And yeah, so we have the sweatshorts, which are like this. Yeah. I'm gonna do a try on haul on my Insta. And then we've got the tees. And then like an oversized boyfriend tee with the sleeves, as you can see. This is really going well for me. High ribbed neckline and yeah, just like a boxy oversized fit. The shorts are also really comfy. They've got pockets. They are double lined pockets. It is a comfortable, breathable cotton terry. We've got our logo detail here as well. And they have an internal drawstring so you can tighten them as well. Super cute outfit with some sneakers. Head for your morning coffee which is what we are doing right now um and then in terms of other exciting things on this week which is why i wanted to vlog the week is we have my second part of my cookbook shoot and i have my stylist coming up to join me i'll have my assistant amanda <coughs> with me so yeah it'll be a few of us here at my house working on i think we've got like 20 to 25 recipes to basically like cook and take photos of. And there'll be three of us working on it. So hopefully you get it done in like three or four days. And yeah, it's like my third last week of training for the 25 kilometer event, which is happening at the end of this month. So I'll be going for a couple of runs. I did my last long run last week. So I'll be going for a couple of runs this week and I'll, yeah, I'll document that as well. Oh, mowers. Mowers. <laughs> Bus. Bus? Baba. Yeah. I like him too. Who's the motor back to? Meow. A little bit more dramatic next time. Ready? Chloe? Meow. Meow. to work to have for lunch now? A bit, a bit of um, sour note, jammed like up here, up in the roof of my mouth, like pierced it. That's crazy. Oh, that, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> my fringe is that really annoying length that just gets behind my ears <laughs> yeah. and I just have to like <laughs> really tuck it. So I'm at work. Monday is work day. We have our core collection launch at 6 p.m. tonight. So lots of work to be done in preparation for that. Um, I think I'll try to show you guys a little bit of behind the scenes of some of the things that go into it. I have Amy over here. Oh, you're in your tea. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Amy's in the, the Coco. We've just been finishing finalizing the names. She's in the Coco set. I'm in the mint with the lavender. You've got to take a set as well, Amanda. Oh, I, I plan on buying a couple of sets. Today. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and you got a little sneak peek of the winter pieces here behind me, which is all the colors. But we need to go over our Shopify products and finalize all the descriptions, the names. We need to weigh each size. We need to finalize 
the pricing for the garments and then we also need to add all the images to it get all the stuff ready for socials i need to approve all the email marketing drafts from mims who does our emails for us and our marketing so i need to approve those we need to schedule those and then we also need to get content up on instagram so lots to be done in preparation and then obviously we need to add all the stock in right before launch at 6 p.m which there's a few different ways we can do that but sometimes we just shut the website down because that way we have all the time in the world to get all the stock on there get all the products active and ready just to hit live basically at that time and then i also have to get stuff up on my socials so i prepared a try on haul for my instagram and i also prepared a reel so i need to get those up today at some point and yeah as i said earlier we're doing the cookbook shoot this week so i've got amanda here and we will be prepping all of the recipes that we're doing getting the shopping list compiled and the order of which we're gonna shoot the recipes so that'll be the other half of today and odie's here what are you doing what's your really important job today Okay, so just approved our first EDM. So this is how it comes to me. I get an email sent from Mims, who does our emails, and she'll send me a test, which I can review and approve. And I basically forward it to her with my comments, changes, etc. And then if it's good to go, she'll schedule it and post it. So when creating a reel, I save songs that I've seen on other reels and like. And then I can come back and use them. And I seen one last night that I wanted to use. And it was like on the Reels Explore page and showed you how to make it to the music. But now I'm kind of like struggling to line it up for some reason. But anyway, I hit saved. And then they're on my saved music. So I can find the songs. And that's a way you can find trending songs and use them, save them, and create a reel to them. So I'm up to the point we've edited all the descriptions and input all the weights and now I've got to go and pick all the photos so this was the first shoot we've done where I hired a photographer to shoot the collection for us I also hired a model M always models for us because she also works for us and this time we hired Paris so it was so nice to have a bigger team involved we also hired a studio which we usually do um, but it's just cool as we expand to start expanding and employing different creatives to freelance with us because it's just helps and I got the collection of photos from her they are so nice I've got to go through and pick which photos to put online so because we're shooting e-com she'll always do some nice close-ups of front side and back so you'll see all those photos there and then we've got some photos of the girls together both of them individually um, to show different styles and different sizes and then we've also styled some photos with like some sports crops or bike shorts Style with some of the winter pieces, so with the sweaters and sweatpants, which will be coming out next year. And yeah, as you can see, there is like we're still in purple, so there is so many photos. I have to go through and shortlist my faves. We'll also keep some aside for socials. It's a big job, but it's better to have too many photos than not enough. Da -na -na! Mr. Potato. Is that what's called? Yeah, Mr. Potato. <laughs> oh, and look who's here. It wouldn't be Odie, would it? Oh, guys. I'm oh, sorry, I got some butcher. Mmm. So, I was a big hater of Mr. Potato until I built my own, and now I'm a fan. And my New Year's resolution is to be more organized and pack lunches, but it is not the New Year's, so. He needs to start that early. Oh no, don't get sauce on me. Should I get sauce on my shirt? Oh my god. This potato is so good. So, almost the end of the day, which this place is like a time warp. You enter and time just goes really fast. Anyway, I've been trying all day to get this try and haul on my stories and I just keep getting distracted. So, we have got... What have I done today? We've got the products all online. Amy is currently putting the stock online, correct? We have mini color block restock going at the same time, so we need to get that stock online as well. And we made a bunch of, Amanda and Amy made a bunch of stories for the Wholesome Store to promote the collection. And 
I don't think we've scheduled social posts. No. <laughs> we need to do that. <laughs> there is so much that needs to be done in a launch. It is like overwhelming and I don't know how I used to do this all on my own. There's like so many parts to the <laughs> wheels in motion. I don't know what the word I'm speaking thinking of it's the end of the day and my brain isn't working but mims who does our ads she's been on the website she's done the ads and she, i mean not the ads. oh my god she's done the emails and she's been on the website fixing up the home pages and banners alex usually does a count or he hasn't done an age but he sometimes does a countdown banner it's like the only thing he knows how to do on shopify bless his cotton socks but he hasn't done that and I don't even know what I'm saying here anymore. I really need to get my stories up. And I'm procrastinating. That's what it is. Well, work day done, Odie. What's the time? What time are we getting out of here? It is 4.20. Got to head home, schedule some IG content, and obviously hang out with Bowie, see him. Um, also, I don't know if I'm the only one. Please tell me I'm not. Does anyone have a little dance and sing-alongs with their dogs in the car? Oh, it gets to witness the best of me, don't you? Yeah. We're currently having a Great Gatsby sing along. You ready? <gasps> Hello! Mama. What is that? Mama. Who? Who's this? Is my mama? Mama? Mama. Okay, can you do, tell mum your new trick? What colour is the sun? Mama. <laughs> Yellow! Good boy! <gasps> oh. High five. Oh. oh, does he know what the sun is? I don't know. Well, he said, yeah, look. Oh. So what's you say? What colour is the sun, Bowie? What colour is the Lava. sun? Yellow. Yellow. Good boy. Yellow. Oh, yellow. Yellow. Lava. <laughs> and what is your name? Bowie. Can you say Bowie? <laughs> what's your name? Say Bowie. <laughs> Did he then make you an icy pole? Oh, yummy! What's in it? Yogurt? Berry? Can you say berry? Baba. Yummy! Berry! Okay, so 40 minutes to go. I just put, I just did a carousel post, posted a video. Oh, I'm gonna do a slide, a countdown timer for the last like half hour. And I'm also trying to create a little quote post. This is like the graphic that we put on all the clothing. So I use a website called PicMonkey. I don't know, it's kind of like Canva. Um, but yeah, I know I've showed so much about work today. And <laughs> you are so handsome. I don't know if that like this sort of stuff interests you, but I kind of just wanted to document behind the scenes of today because it was like day before a launch or slash launch day. I want to document just some of the things that go on to make it happen because obviously on the flip side you guys are just seeing like collections live shop now but obviously there's a lot of back work that happens and it's not just me doing it we've got our team and I'm so thankful because everyone has their different things that they do to help and it honestly just makes it doable <laughs> and me not frazzled so yeah amazing love our team so much so grateful for them Tina. 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 Oh, mashed tahiti. Mm -mm, delicious. It's a funny little scoop up. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to work, man. There's a few bites. Two last time. Two refills. Ah, good. Oh, it's not bubbly enough. So we are two minutes of going live. I always get so tempted to like open up the website early. Um, already like the visitors sort of start dwindling on about half an hour or two, but in the last like five minutes, it really like, yeah, powers up. So yeah, lots of people heading online now, which is really cool and exciting. I always like, not gonna deny, always get so nervous before a launch like I think that's only natural to get like butterflies and feel nervous especially when it's a new thing like when it's a restock of something that we knew was popular it's pretty like 
you know, assuring that people are going to love the product and want to buy it again if they missed out and there's a lot of demand for it. But when it's like new stuff, it's always a little bit like, ah, uh, hopefully people like it and it's not just me. Obviously everything that we put on the wholesome store is stuff that like I design because I love it or we order because I love it. So I'm always just like, hopefully the people love it too. But yeah, basically now website's live. I'm going to go check it, refresh, make sure it's open. It looks like it's open. Um, our email should be going out now. So the home page, the home banner has been updated. I'm like, we're like launching right this minute. So, oh my goodness, come back. Yeah, so that's like the home page. And then we have another one. Six o'clock. Oh, I need to go on Instagram and post stories on the wholesome store. Oh yeah, there's the email. Woo, call collection is live. It's the email, <gasps> exactly six o'clock, which is so good. Um, and yeah, we have like a really good email marketing base now because obviously like we're coming up to like our fourth year of business. So we have a strong email base, which is really good. Um, and we've built that over years, but yeah. So we're, every time we send out an email for launch, the traffic obviously goes up. So like if you're watching this and you like have a brand or you want to start a brand, definitely start your email base from the beginning. Yeah, just it's really powerful marketing tool. And like it's, yeah, it pretty much builds itself. It's like its own little community, which is really cool. So on Shopify, I'm not gonna show, but like we have a back end where you can see where visitors are around the world. Like it literally gives you a globe, which is really cool. So we can see exactly where people are. Like we've got people over in Laos. There's someone in Singapore. We've got a bunch of people in New Zealand, obviously our neighbors in Australia. There's like Australia's lit up. If I go over to America, we've got people all over the US, which is so cool. I don't even know what time it would be in the US right now. So eight minutes past launch. Um, I'm gonna get myself away from the computer because I've been staring at it seriously like all day and I'm going a little square eyes and I'm losing my words. Um, hope. You guys have enjoyed today coming on for the launch. The rest of the week's gonna look completely different. So yeah, less TWS stuff and more moving into the cookbook stuff. Um, I'll put a link to these sets in the description box um, if you guys want to check them out. And yeah, away from the computer. Mushroom dinner options. Mushroom meat ragu pasta with a 35 minute wait time. Mm -hmm. Option two is a more gusto. <laughs> family fave tofu soup. Mm -hmm. Noodles, 25 minute lead mm. time. That's all we have for today. Oh, that's it? Yeah. What yeah. about this from last week? Yeah, I don't want that. <laughs> it's a 45 minute wait time. Look at that. Be done. <laughs> Why are you so weird? Some camera work. <coughs> Can you come give me a kiss? <laughs> You're a cuter. Who's that? 
Oh, you're gonna film me. You're gonna, oh, you're gonna film Mama. Wow, Ta. That's some fragile goods you got there, buddy. <laughs> Odie. Hello. <laughs> so, for a, for a busy work day, a big healthy breakfast, and having the same thing I had yesterday tofu scramble. Yum, that was too much. That's a lot. High protein and absolutely delicious tofu scramble. What do you reckon? What's your rating? High? More. Do you like it? Okay. Yeah. Goes well with it, doesn't it? You just don't stop eating, do you? Who's here? Who's here, Bowie? Amanda's here! I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me, have you come to help us? Are you here to help us put the groceries away? Oh. Are you helping? <gasps> Look, it's a honey spoon. Yeah. So shoot day one, we are making the vanilla vegan birthday cake. Amanda, look at you go with your apron. <laughs> She's got, yeah, I never wear an apron. I was like, do not dirty your outfit. You need an apron. And we've like literally not got enough plain flour. You wouldn't believe it, the key ingredient. But anyway, here we are. And this is my assistant stylist, Holly. And she's come to shoot with me. So she's bringing all her props and setting up, which this stuff gets me so excited. <laughs> Who doesn't love ceramics? And we're like lining out all of our backgrounds. If you guys ever want like cool photography backgrounds, check out the Everyday Co. They literally have hundreds of really cool backdrops and it just makes food photography so easy and cool. But yeah, time to start cooking and shooting. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> So it is currently 12.30, which means we have been working for, back me up Amanda, how many hours? Four and a half hours. Four and a half hours. And we have shot the, <laughs> like, <laughs> my brain's like, what have we shot? The brekkie burrito. I know, because it's probably the only thing I've stolen and shot so far. The porridge. The porridge. The macno greens, which I just went and showed you a little clip of. Yummy. Amanda's currently doing the salt and pepper tofu. Was there something else? Waffles. And waffles, sweet and savory waffles. And I have half styled the vegan birthday cake, which I think is gonna look really, really cute. I'm actually quite excited to style this one. Usually I'm a bit afraid of desserts, but this one is looking really fun. Anyway, we have probably three left. Is that correct? Yeah. To say that? 
Salt and pepper tofu, lemon pepper, cauliflower, and... Okay. Oh, okay. We are on the home stretch, guys. Oh, yeah. We are almost there. So yeah, can I get back into it? Oh, and the best thing about shoot days is copious amounts of food to eat all day long. <laughs> What are you doing with the blueberries? So we're all wrapped up by before three o'clock because with shooting food, you need like the morning light is best. So we should... I'm not doing oh. What was that? Anyway, you need the morning light. It's better. So around two o'clock is kind of like, oh. You spilled the blueberries. Is kind of like the cutoff. Anyway, all wrapped up, kitchen's tidy. Got some photos to edit, but I might do it tomorrow or the next day, the photos we've taken. Oh, you're collecting them. Good boy. Put them in your container. Good boy. You gonna get them all? Wow, very grown up. Oh, you family. <laughs> Odie. Hey. <laughs> the frog legs. Hails up. Wearing her mint awesome store. Mint TWS panties. Very cute. Go, go, go. Here comes a motorbike. Hey. <laughs> oh. Oh. Whoa. Meow. <laughs> what is it, Mon? Yeah. <laughs> what? Hey, meow. What have I got to do? Just have a, have a good gulp. A good Alex, gulp. I'm really thirsty. There is no cold water in the fridge. I There is a cold bottle of champagne, which I was tempted to pop and have a little sip. Anyway, I am actually going to make a water. I know there's such thing as ice. It's a great invention. Alex is peer pressuring me into having some beer. No, no, no. I've just asked. It's a big can too. 500 mil, big dog. Super crisp. Great Northern Brewing, Queensland. Ready? Big gulp, like a good gulp. Okay. <sighs> yeah, nice. <no, I'm laughs> <laughs> All right, can you make your dinner, Bowie? I think you should have, what's this? Plate coming soon to the wholesome store. Okay, he's gonna have some, some quish, some mash, sweet tatey. Have dinner is ready. Boo boo, oh. dinner's ready. Oh, it's nice to sit down, Bowie. I'm tired. Don't you like nectarine? That's a summer fruit. Yum, yum, yum. Good boy. Ta. Oh, ta. Who is this non fussy baby? You are such a big boy. Do you want to get the pee? Mm. Get it. Tough. Get it? Oh. Feel for you. Oh. Ooh. You stab yeah. it into mum's finger. Go. Use mum's finger as like a leverage. Go. Go. Nice. Oh. Oh. But harder. Not aggressive though. Mm. Yeah, sometimes. There it is. K. 
Cave men. Got it. Cave men didn't use knife and forks, did they? Both. You wanna eat it? Good boy, you worked really hard for that one. Good morning, Wednesday. Yes, it's Wednesday. And I am going for my first run of the week, which is a little late because I wanted to do three runs this week, so I don't know if I'll squeeze all three in. What are you doing up there? Don't you come down here. You stay right there. Okay, so I'm going to go for a run. I'm just going to do a quick-ish run. I think I'm going to set out with the intention of doing five, see how I think. Feel. Actually, I need my running belt. Yeah, see how I feel once I get moving. And yeah, I'm gonna meet Alex and Bowie for coffee after. And oh, my girl, oh, I'll meet her after as well. And I'm gonna put a pod podcast in. And yeah, go get it done. Run done. I went just for five and a half Ks. Let's find it, Bowie. What are you doing? Who's that? <laughs> That's you, beautiful boy. Yeah, you gotta stand here where mummy is. See? And now you can see. <laughs> Cute. Yeah. So, 5.4 actually. 5.35. Pretty. Like a slower pace for me because I had, I don't know, as soon as I started running, I had a huge headache and it was so muggy and humid, like disgusting. Like one of the most humid days, it's obviously going to rain this afternoon. So yeah, I just felt not, yeah, I wasn't feeling it. I've got 15 minutes before Amanda gets here. So I've got to race upstairs, shower, also want to have breakfast before we start recipes. I think Holly will be here at nine. So we'll do some prep before she gets here. But yeah, gotta get ready. <gasps> gotta go get ready! Okay, let's go. Simple, quick makeup routine. I always like to have a shower, tie my hair back, and put just like a light amount of makeup on just so I feel fresh and ready for the day and not still in my PJs. Even though, I mean, my comfies. So Amanda's already here and straight into making the coconut rough. It's like a coconut raft with a little extra crunchiness. Feels a bit interesting making this at 8 a.m. It does. <laughs> but we are before midday chocolate eaters, Amanda, so it's fine. <laughs> amazing Amanda has prepped a... Amazing Amanda. Amazing Amanda. Thank you. Please refer to me as Amazing Amanda moving forward. <laughs> Has a really boost the ego. <laughs> <laughs> the list goes as follows. Prep coconut raft, already done. Prep crispy potatoes, I'm on to that now. Prep cauliflower steak, style shoot crispy potatoes, prep verde, style and shoot verde, prep pear and fennel salad, style and shoot prep, uh, pear and fennel salad, style shoot cauliflower steak, prep peanut butter cookies, which we're actually gonna do now, style and shoot coconut raft, prep style and shoot the milk way, milk shakes for ways, it's a bit of a tongue twister, and then finally shoot the peanut butter cookies. Actually sounds like a pretty achievable day. Yeah, it like, does. I was looking at it this morning and I was like, this feels like a good day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ready? <laughs> Can you do the veggie stock powder? You need to do a teaspoon. This is it. I'll scoop it. Can you pour it? You pour it? Pour? Good boy, and tap. Tap, 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 tap. <gasps> Good boy. All done, no more. Oh, the second coffee would be amazing today. Yeah. Yeah. Mixing? Yeah. We haven't mixed yet. Ready?
This is the cauliflower steaks with verde, which is a recipe I'm very excited about because it's yummy. <laughs> This is what drinking on the job looks like. <laughs> Margarita's three ways, my favorite cocktail, has to be in the book. And we have a coconut, traditional and spicy, of course. So little vlog update, it's 1.20. It feels like 4 p.m. because we've done so much already today. We've already shot eight recipes and Amanda is currently prepping two so that we can basically just jump straight in and shoot them first thing tomorrow because the morning light is just so good. And we also are ahead of schedule because we're already prepping for tomorrow and we've already shot two recipes that we didn't expect we'd do today, including some margaritas. There's gonna be margaritas three ways in the book because it is my favorite cocktail and you guys need to know how to make it three different ways. Um, also, Drinking on the job is dangerous, which is why I'm not shooting anymore because these things really get you. But yeah, ahead of time, which means I have some time this afternoon to start editing all the photos that we've shot so far. Well, the photos that I've taken, which probably isn't that many because Holly's been smashing the photos, but I can get ahead on my editing and yeah, great productive morning so far. haven't finalized yet, but here is a little preview of some pickies. Oh, this is exciting actually. Ooh. Bowie, that really gets me going, a little verde action. Ooh. Verde on the cauliflower steak, yum. What a dish. So day two of our shoot done. I'm really happy with that. We had a little bit of a oopsie with the sweet potato flaffles that we're prepping for tomorrow. So we're gonna redo them tomorrow and just refine the recipe. But yeah, it's been a big couple of days. I'm actually gonna switch off my camera for the rest of the day and hang out with my fam. And I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow as we enter Thursday slash the final day of sh shooting for the week. What are you doing? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Bowie, what are you doing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I shouldn't be encouraging this, but this is kind of really funny. Stop it. Okay. I'm going to go and <laughs> discipline my toddler <laughs> and I'll catch up with you guys tomorrow. Come sit here. No, stop it. Sit here. I'm putting notes bowl through the dishwasher tonight. It's, <laughs> it's actually really clean, but gross. <sighs> Good morning. Early wake up here every morning. It is. It's not even six yet. We've been up. Bowie and I are, I have been this week watching Winnie the Pooh together, which is a lot of fun. And every morning just chilling on the couch and he has a cup of milk. But yeah, we really don't get much of a sleep past 5 a.m. ever. So it's always an early start for us. Alex is off a run. And last night, what did we do yesterday? Oh, we went into the warehouse for me. Went and seen the girls. Then we went out to our new house. Went to the park. We had some dinner. No. You don't want this. No. Anyway, first things first. I'm gonna make a coffee at home this morning. We'll probably maybe go grab one a little bit later when Alice gets home. Come watch me make my coffee. Very exciting. What do you want to watch now? Uh, Another Winnie? Uh, uh, 
That was springtime when you swear there's another one. There we go, look. Oh, oh. There's nine or ten. Okay, we've watched that one with the balloon. We've watched springtime with Rue. This one? So we just went and had breakfast. There is just things everywhere. That's life of the toddler. Um, but we went to a cafe called The Base. It's yummy. They have good vegan options, good vegan feathers. So that was yummy. I totally forgot to video it for you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm wearing the core shorts today with Connie's and just with, like, with a singlet crop. Cute little comfy outfit. And these shoes, they're like, let me show you. So they're Converse's like recycled range. So I think they use like regenerated recycled fibers to make these ones, but they're so cool because they're like a textured pattern. And yeah, everyone's always asking where these ones are from. <laughs> it's currently <laughs> midday, and we have styled and shot the miso ramen and the uh, sweet potato falafels, the avocado mousse. Currently doing the don't know what the name for these are. They're gonna be they were gonna be muesli bars, but the bar situation didn't really work, so they're kind of like. Cups with chocolate. Anyway, I'll show you guys because we've got some of the dishes laying here. I'll show you some of the things we've been cooking because I haven't really been actively recording heaps because I'm just trying to focus and get through the last recipes for today. We also have spring rolls to do and sausage rolls three ways. So there's a little bit of prep work involved in those dishes, but I'll show you the ones that I have here that we've already shot and they're just kind of sitting on the bench. So this is the sweet potato falafels that are like a gluten-free recipe and Holly styled them so beautifully with all the salad. And then this is a creamy miso ramen. Did I say that right? Ramen. ramen. <laughs> this is a, guys, I pronounce words really wrong. Please don't hate me. This is a creamy miso ramen with tofu mushrooms corn and all the good stuff. This is an avocado mousse, which looks so delicious in this glass. And then this is the muesli bar cup things that, yeah, I don't really know what the name for them yet, but we've made them nut free, so they should be, and gluten free, so they should hopefully be school lunchbox friendly, and they are so delicious. And this is the chaos of the workspace at the moment. So that is a wrap. Three days shooting done. We got everything done that we had planned. And Amanda did a recipe count. Currently sitting at 76 recipes total. And the goal for the book is, I think the publisher said, anywhere from 80 to 90, which means we have potentially four to 14 to go. Oh, baby, good feeling. Got some editing to do, some post-production, and there is so much food in our house. It's a little overwhelming, but our friends are here. Our friends. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hayley and Kyle. Our okay. random friends are here. Bowie's <laughs> godparents, say that. Bowie's godparents are here. That's, That's Slash best friends. Slash besties. <laughs> slash Alex's brother. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Twin. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Guys, so here's friends. a fact. Everyone on Instagram, I don't know about YouTube, but everyone on Instagram thinks we are friends because the boys are brothers. Yeah, true. Literally. Brothers for life. Not we do look kind of like brothers. Not facts. Oh. Hales and I are friends since year nine. Year nine, year nine? in school. Fifteen. Maybe you were fourteen. And she moved away from our school in our town. And we stayed friends. How special is that? It's really special. Mm. From like 14 15. So special. We got up to some very naughty things as teenagers, anyway. <laughs> Should we go there? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, we're more wholesome now these days. We are much more wholesome now. Oh. And I'm going to have a spring roll. Delicious, by the way. Good work. Thanks. Yeah, it's real nice. Eh? A lot of it's probably like 
you know, been sitting out for some time, it's not. No, it has no, I had a steam and I really like this one. Do you love your auntie? Say car if you love your auntie. Say car. Say car. <laughs> say Bowie if you love your god daddy, say bubble. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <And> you. <laughs> oh, we love you too. Um, Do you love me? Say bubble. Bah. Yep. See, bah, he loves bah. me. Bah. Also, we made oh, sausage rolls three ways. Very lit. And exciting news: we actually got our first plans back for our house, which we're going to go look at with our friends. That's why they're here. With our friends, <laughs> we're going to show Haley and Kyle our house plans. As we progress, I'll show you guys plans and yeah, do a bit of a series on our build. But for now, I'm keeping it under wraps until we finalize things and I decide what I do want to share. Ready? One, two. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Bowie. This is dad. One, two. <laughs> One more. King One more. One <laughs> more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so cute. <laughs> mm. So yeah. Mwah. It's at the beach. Oh wow. <laughs> Why too busy? Thanks, mate. <laughs> I wasn't forced at all. Hello, Hody Cody. Hello. Is someone excited? Hello. Hello. <laughs> oh, oh. Odi, what are you doing? <laughs> Bowie? <laughs> okay, so Bowie is in bed. And it's just past seven. I've heated up the creamy miso ramen to have for dinner. I actually tried to have this for lunch, but I ran out of time to eat it. So I'm gonna have it now. I just reheated it for the second time. So it's gonna be a little questionable, but it's a delicious dish. On the topic of the book, I actually just got the first, I'm not gonna show it because it's, yeah, I don't want to give that away, but I actually got from the designer of the cover just some like mock-ups. So we've got our location for the cover booked. So we've got our designer booked for the book and she's the one who's like designing all like the artworks and the fonts, etc. And she's already putting together the book. Anyway, she's mocked up some cover ideas with some titles and fonts and graphics. And she's just photoshopped pictures of the location and pictures of me in it just to get like a bit of a vibe and like I guess a bit of a mood board for the cover shoot which is happening next year and yeah it just got me really excited especially because this week we're doing so much work on the book so yeah to check my emails and see some potential cover ideas it looks like it's going to be really fun which is exciting anyway we back home had a couple of drinks out but didn't have dinner and I'm gonna have dinner, we're gonna put TV on, chill out, I need to hydrate. Cause I actually need to go for a run tomorrow. And that's pretty much it for today. What's for breakfast, honey? What have you got? Did you just put your foot in it? So we had heaps of leftover ingredients from our shoot and need something for breakfast. So I'm making up some tofu scramble and some more fried potatoes. And we're making breakfast burritos. We've also got some mashed up avocado over here. We've got the tortillas, vegan cheese. Pickled red onions, yum. And while I'm doing this, I'm also making up some smoothie pops for Bowie to freeze so we can have little ice creams. Woo, 
baby. Yum. What do you think of your little plate? This is your breakfast number three, Bowie. Bowie? Well, number four, you've had some berries too. Guys, if you were to dress up as a lead singer, not it lead singers, what would you dress up as? Give me your hot tips. Of what you should dress up as. For me. To steal your ideas. I'm going with Freddie. Alex is going as Freddie Mercury. Freddie Mercury. Okay. Currently going the hat live aid, singlet, tight pants. I bought the shoes, armband, belt. What do you reckon? Loads of berries, yogurt and coconut cream. We've got some molds and I've only got three of those little heads for it. I'm also going to see if I can fill up some of these with some paddle pop sticks. Oh. Ready? Good, huh? Done. Step one. Oops. <laughs> oh. It's like a jet, this thing. And that's it. That's not all the steps. Dancing. We are going to wet world. <laughs> Bowie's lunch. She's having some more pasta, and I've packed some snacks and some potatoes, berries, and some pita bread. Hey, mate. Are you excited? You can see the water park. Where are you going? 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 Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Are we gonna watch Dad? He's going on the slide. Here comes Dada! Wait for him. Ready? Ready? Woo! Who's that? Woo! Hey, Daddy! All right, Bowie, let's do, whoa, he's erratic on the driving. Let's do a wet and wild review, Bowie. What did we think? Yeah. Well, we didn't. Probably a two out of 10 for age specificness. Yeah, not great for his age. <laughs> yeah. But like the little kitty water park was sick. Was sick. And we found out at the end there was two slides which we can go down with him. So we did that one with him twice. One, like both of us did it with him. And he was basically speechless. <laughs> frozen. <laughs> frozen, speechless, not a peep. And otherwise on the review, not, honestly not great if it's just like you two plus a kid because most of the rides there are at like two plus people. So we couldn't go on a ride together and leave Bowie. And I don't think going on a ride with a random having to like straddle their legs is really something that I felt like doing. So yeah, all in all, if you want to go with your baby's toddler slash kids, bring a, bring a nana. Bring a nana. So they can play in the kiddie pool if you want to go on the big kid rides. <laughs>
<laughs> no, it's all, like, that is so unusual. And it's also so, so clever. If you want more Taylor content, <laughs> stay tuned. We're working on something that will come out in a couple of months' time. Zara for Scandal. <laughs> Zara, 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 Zara. Yours was Zara. <laughs> A sun sluggy ah. my skin for so harmful UV. I'm happy. My face, not so much. Like, I don't have to freak me out. I bon appetit. Cheers. Yummy.